Uh, I wanted to take over the podium for a few minutes uh, today, and the organizers have kindly allowed me to do so. And I am doing this for two reasons. First, um, on behalf of my colleague, uh, Eric Green, who's the director of the Companion Institute running TCGA, namely the National Human Genome Research Institute, and I, I, we wanted to express our appreciation and admiration for what has happened in this program. Um, I find it astounding that so many folks, many with significant egos, have come together to, uh, to put together a team effort that's not just teams within institutions, but teams between institutions, between disciplines, uh, to create a program that is, in my view, as good as anything that the NCI, indeed the NIH, is currently doing, winning the admiration of scientists all around the world, setting a high standard for how we analyze uh, the molecular components of genomes, uh, how we begin to think about applying the deep knowledge that's coming out of this uh, massive effort uh, to improve the way we treat and prevent and diagnose cancer and understand it. Furthermore, as you've been hearing from some of the recent talks, much of the science that has been uh, created through this program is now informing a number of other studies of what one could and should call basic science, uh, understanding of how replication works and how proteins interact and how proteins are structured and how mutation occurs. And all this stuff is feeding back in a very important way to the stuff that I believe is the most important thing NIH does, was to understand how cells work. The second reason I wanted to take the podium for a couple of minutes is to introduce uh, the keynote speaker, my friend Bill Sellers. And I want to point out to you that he, his selection as the keynote speaker was made for a number of important reasons. First, he was among the pioneers of developing some of the technologies that we're all using to analyze tumors. Uh, and uh, secondly, because he's been, over the past several years, a very important conduit between the drug industry and the academic slash government slash nonprofit sector, uh, being uh, a, um, a, a visionary leader at Novartis and someone who's still committed to the larger purpose of advancing uh, oncological sciences. Bill is a native of eastern Massachusetts. Uh, he must have been among the first graduates of the University of Massachusetts Medical School at Worcester. Uh, he trained at the University of California, San Francisco, uh, and at uh, the Farber. I uh, was on the faculty of the Farber for several years before moving in 2005 uh, to Novartis, where he's head of oncology. Um, he's also in town this week, in part, as a member of my National Cancer Advisory Board, and I'm very grateful to him as well for that service. But for this service today to this group, I'm profoundly uh, pleased that he's willing to put together uh, another of uh, his exemplary talks to try to pull together some of the lines of, of uh, investigation that uh, the TCGA is abetting. So, Bill, thank you very much.